Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Friday, guys. T-G-I-F. Where was I yesterday? Now that was the question. Whew, it was a busy, somewhat stressful, and a very <laughs> expensive day. But I've got quite a bit done around the homestead here. As you can see behind me, all of my tools are up underneath the canopy. I got all of the stuff cleaned up from my desk project and also the job site over here. Ryder's coming to check me out this morning. Eclipse is in trouble again. We are hitting it hard on uh, the punishment for uh, chewing up things around here. Because as you can see, all of her mess is cleaned up everywhere. I spent a good portion of Thursday during the day cleaning up all around the homestead. Getting all the trash cleaned up from all the building projects and stuff like that. And also Hurricane Eclipse. Um, man, she had stuff chewed up everywhere everywhere so now that i got everything cleaned up around here i'm actually addressing it every time i see her get something and chew on it or get something off a table or anything like that anytime that she uh does it then i show it to her i tell her that she's a bad girl and she has to go to her kennel for a little while and I'm going to try that for a little while now that I got everything picked up and I know when she's grabbing something and when she's not. And uh, we'll see if it works. She knows that she's doing wrong now. As soon as uh, I grab something that she's done took off a table or chew or whatever, she hangs her head down and kind of kind of hides a little bit and stuff. And she knows that she's in trouble. Um, so hopefully we can break her of that. And I'm going to stay pretty diligent on it. Um, I, I'm going to address it at every time I see it, no matter what's going on, what I'm doing. I don't care if I'm building or whatever. If I see her do it, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and I'm going to address it because it literally took me about an hour and a half just to pick up her mess around this yard. And uh, that's ridiculous. I've got way too much to do uh, besides going around picking up all the stuff that she wants to go chew on and stuff. <laughs> I will show you one thing that she's uh, brought out the woods, though. I seen this last night. And stuff like this is fine. As long as she don't, you know, little bones and stuff like that. <laughs> it's one thing. But uh, getting stuff off the tables and chewing up trash and all that other, that's a whole other thing. Check this out. <laughs> she done brought a cow head. <laughs> Here. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> I came home to that yesterday, and she was pretty proud of it. Um, but that's a bone. I ain't really too much worried about that. A lot of people saying she needs chew toys and stuff like that. She's got toys all over this place. She's got all kinds of different types of balls. She's got the Kong thing that I keep seeing in the comments and stuff. She's got a, one of the big ones right there that you put the peanut butter in. She's got some hard plastic toys, some, like hard rubber type toys she's got little ropes and stuff she, she's got all kinds of stuff to play with around here there's there's literally toys everywhere and her favorite spot is at the front door and i'll show you just at the front door she has what's left of one of her big bones another big bone that's one of those hard like plastic type bones She's got two balls, three balls, actually. And that's just right here at the front door. That's not counting the back patio and all around this yard. She's got toys everywhere, so there's no excuse for her doing what she's doing. She just needs to be broke from it. So I'm going to work hard at it and uh, try. I'm trying to avoid getting her one of those correcting collars. You know what I mean? But if it continues, I will if I have to because it's definitely something that needs to be addressed um she's getting older she's still a puppy i mean she was born uh february 23rd i think so she's not that old she's she's still a puppy so um we'll get there this is going to take a little time but i have been busy 
And yesterday I was in Fort Smith all day. Um, quick story. I had to go to Fort Smith because as y'all seen many videos ago, eight, ten videos ago, whatever, I ran over my drone. And when I went to go take the kids to Top Golf, Margarita's kids and Margarita, um, I took my drone with me, being that I was going to be in the big city, and went to Best Buy. And went to go take it back, and the guy at Best Buy did not know what he was doing and told me, oh no, we don't do that here at the store, you got to do it by phone. Well, my warranty was going out, my extended warranty on the drone was going out ye uh, yesterday. So the day before, I called on phone and I tried to get it replaced and a new one sent to me. And they said, no, we don't do that on the phone. We do it in the store. So unfortunately, I had planned yesterday to be working on the pump house. But I had to reroute because my warranty was going up yesterday and go back to town another hour and a half each direction to go back to Best Buy and change out my drone. And then whenever I get there yesterday, I find out that they discontinued my drone and I had to pay the difference between that one and the newer version. So, and also had to buy the extended warranty again. So it ended up costing me like $800. So yeah, Best Buy did me wrong, <laughs> did me real wrong. So wasn't too happy about that, but I decided to make lemons out of lemonade beans that I was already having to go to town. And I got a lot of stuff going on here. I took my trailer with me. Let me show you what we got. Because it's about to get on <laughs> here on Come On Mountain. I got a whole bunch of 3 inch pipe and 2 inch pipe. I got the 2x4s that we talked about. And I also got the rest of the metal decking. For the lean to. I also, while I was in town, because gas is a little cheaper in the bigger cities, filled up all my gas cans. Whew. That always annoys me. <laughs> and then also got all of the plumbing for the bathroom. all the connections so yeah it's about to get busy and i have decided that the fastest way for me to get a bathroom here on the cabin before winter is put one right here um i'm gonna go ahead and plumb this whole area out before i do this slab right here that's what all that piping and stuff for I'm going to go ahead and plumb it out for a toilet, a sink, and a shower. Um, and also the washing machine and dryer. So basically, this section right here, this 10 by 10 section, is going to turn into a bathroom that has a washer and dryer in it. The washer and dryer is more than likely going to go on this wall right here by the well. And the shower and toilet and area and sink and stuff will go right here i also called yesterday and got some quotes i'm going to take the septic tank from here all the way out there and i believe here in arkansas it's at least a hundred feet from your well i'm actually going to go further than that uh, i'm going to get it as far away from the well as possible to make sure that my uh, drinking water and all of that stuff stays nice and clean so i'll take it however far i need to take it um, depending on the clearings and stuff like that but it will definitely be over the minimum for sure but i've decided to do this because i have no concrete in the ground right now if i'm i want an outdoor bathroom at some point because i will have airbnbs here at some point and also guest staying and parties and stuff like that so I would like for a place for people to be able to use the bathroom and stuff without going into my cabin. So the best time for me to go ahead and plumb that is right now um, before I pour the concrete. So I decided to go ahead and grab all of that stuff, go ahead and plumb it, and uh, 
get that all situated so we can get some concrete on the ground. So that is coming here soon. And also that will give me a bathroom while I work on the bathroom in the cabin. Because the bathroom in the cabin is quite a big project. I mean, I have to cut slab out and all kinds of stuff in there and uh, do a whole lot. And plus I have the renovation that I got to think about why I'm doing that bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Right now is the best time to do it. And it gives me somewhere to take a shower and to use the bathroom and stuff while I work on the other bathroom. So I'm basically going to go ahead and finish this room. Um, go ahead and insulate it all. Go ahead and get a heating source set up and all that other stuff. That's another good thing too. If it does draw over into the winter and I'm still using this bathroom, this room this building right here is going to be temperature temperature controlled in the winter so it's not like i'll be out here freezing my butt off and uh all of that and it's really not far cabin i mean right here i mean right there's the door right there's going to be the door going into it so i mean it's literally 30 steps so it's not ideal um to use that as your primary bathroom but right now I'm using nature <laughs> so it's definitely a major upgrade I think it's the best decision and uh now that we got the actual frame of the structure up I really really got to really pay attention to the steps that I take and what's going to make the most sense and what's going to be the most efficient and also cost effective with all of this so I'm definitely doing that but I got quotes for a septic tank I'm going to end up putting in a 750 gallon uh concrete septic tank um that's the smallest one i can get in concrete and i do want to do concrete i, I want to do one that's going to last and uh so and that's plenty big enough for this cabin plenty plenty big enough for this cabin so that's what i'll be ordering it's about a dollar a gallon so it's about 750 dollars which is not cheap but it's not crazy um i honestly thought it was going to cost a little bit more and I also, the same company delivers concrete. So I went ahead and got a quote on that as far as the concrete that I need. I think it comes out to 3.25 concrete that I need, but I'm going to order four uh, yards. And I will just have a couple other things framed out here just for the uh, extra that, that comes out here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring a concrete truck up here and go ahead and pour this so i can pour this whole slab in a couple of hours versus three days and mixing concrete and breaking my back and everything like that and speed right <laughs> winter's coming so i'm trying to streamline this that's why i bought the two by fours and that's why i'm not gonna do all mixing <laughs> myself um there's plenty of time for that on other projects and stuff around here chicken coops and rabbit hutches and you know woodsheds and all that other kind of shops and all kinds of other stuff I, I can do a lot of that myself this is more of a priority project and also a time sensitive project so i'm going to do what i need to to speed this process up a little bit i have everything that i need now for the metal roofing i have everything that i need for the plumbing in the ground for the bathroom and also the washing machine and dryer i even got the box um, with the pecs connections and stuff for the washing machine and dryer as well so i think it'd be cool um, by doing it this way it allows me to have a bathroom right now and it also allows me to be able to start washing clothes right now um which is huge because right now margarita does most of my laundry and she picks it up takes it to her house when she comes out brings it back and everything else and it's just a lot of work on her and i would much rather be able to uh, do it here and I like to have clean laundry and I also like to change my sheets out on a regular basis. And that makes it hard to do when you don't have a washing machine and dryer. So I think it's the best decision. What do you guys think? I'm sure some will agree, some won't. But I think for the most of y'all will probably agree with me on this one. And I mean, for future purposes, I mean, to have another bathroom outside is just amazing. 
um, especially whenever you're having gatherings and stuff like that. That cabin is very small. So you don't want people running in and out your cabin and messing things up and all of that other stuff. It'd be real, real nice just to have an outdoor area right here where people can actually use the restroom and uh, not have to trek in inside and outside your house. And also on those days where I'm out here working my booyaka off and I don't want to go in my bathroom inside and destroy it, I can come out here on the little bit more industrial bathroom and use it. Um, I haven't decided on the shower yet if I'm going to do like a wet room and put a drain in the center and, and kind of do it that being that it's going to be outdoors and a concrete slab and all of that. What do y'all think about that? Or should I actually build like a little shower? I'm probably not going to do an insert out here. It's going to be very primal. It's going to be like one of those ones that you see at a campground or something like that. Just very basic. Just pretty much to get the job done. I'm not trying to win no Martha Stewart awards up in here on the outdoor bathroom. I want functionality and I want durability. So... I'm thinking maybe just making it a wet room, especially with the washing machine and dryer in there and everything like that. And also to make it easy to clean. I mean, I could literally go in there with a water hose and be like, <sighs> and some bleach and clean the whole thing. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, come on. But I'm excited it's Friday. Um, I got a lot of work to do. Um, I do got some stuff going on this weekend um, that I need to get took care of. But this project is definitely ramping up now, and next week is going to be a big week. I am hoping, hoping to get the plumbing in the ground and maybe even the concrete poured uh, by the end of next week. And that way the plumbing set and ready to build and the concrete set, and then I can start framing the walls. And I'm not going to put the roof on quite yet. I, I'm going to start with some of the detail stuff on it, but I'm not actually going to put the panels on until I actually put the framing up for the walls because I want to be able to get above and to be able to get some screws and nails in and stuff to make it extremely secure. And right now the metal roofing will just kind of get in the way. But I've got everything here on the homestead now to really make this project right here fly. Um, there's been a lot of steps to get to this point and a whole lot of materials that I needed to get. And I needed to figure out exactly what the best efficient direction was to kind of get all of this done in a timely manner and make it flow. Especially with working primarily by myself, you got to be efficient. But I think the foreman approves. What do you think? Do you approve of the plan, Ryder? Oh, you trying to get that spider, huh? <laughs> she's all wiry this morning no and uh you know those daddy long leg like type spiders man i've never seen so many in my life there's like every day i see like 30 around here it's like a haven for those things they don't really bother me but man they are everywhere everywhere but I think we're going to go ahead and call it for this Friday. I know I didn't do one yesterday. Like I said, I was in town and I had that 20 foot trailer with me in the city and I was running in and out of stores and grabbing materials and lists and all that other stuff. So I just had a lot going on and uh, just didn't have time to record and get it uploaded and all that other stuff. Um, I might do another one this weekend to kind of make up for it. And kind of show y'all uh, what we're getting into because uh, today and tomorrow is definitely going to be some busy, busy times around here. So until we see each other again, guys, come on, keep it real. Have a good and productive weekend, guys.